Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now and we're going to do a range comparison with the Glock 43X and the Springfield Hellcat. Both subcompact 9mm handguns that many people are proud to call their CCW. Let's start with the Springfield Hellcat. New release from Springfield, it is a subcompact gun that carries 11 rounds in the smaller magazine which Springfield claims is the most in the industry for a gun this size. It also comes with a 13 round magazine, both double stack. A very lightweight gun loaded with 11 rounds weighing at 23 ounces. Three inch barrel, rear serrations that go straight across the top of the slide front serrations. It does have a U dot sight, a U in the rear, a tritium front night sight, a rail, what they call an adaptive grip texturing, okay, anywhere the hand touches, that texturing is there. A flat face trigger that I measure right at five pounds. It also has a sight hole indicator on top. This is the non-OSP, so this does not have a slide cutout for an optic. The other one is an OSP model, and that stands for optical sight pistol. The MSRP on this, 569. It is selling for right around 569. Not a great variance off of the MSRP at this point. Let's see how it does. It's a very nice shooting handgun. I like that trigger and I like the way this gun performs. It's performed this way since day one. And at this point in time, I have a good amount of rounds through it. But now we have the Glock 43X. And this was a big hit when it first came out. Many people were wanting Glock to come out with a higher capacity magazine in their subcompact format. So they came out with this with a 10 round capacity from Glock. And they also enjoy very strong aftermarket support so you are you are already seeing companies come out with higher capacity magazines for the 43x and the glock 48 but this one here has the pvd coated slide it's got a three point a four inch barrel with the uh, silver pvd coated they also make that in black now okay when it first came out many people wanted black so glock did make that change front serrations here we have the field goal rear sight dot in the front those are polymer once again glock aftermarket support is strong the mag holds 10 rounds already mentioned that but it is not interchangeable with the original glock 43 grip texturing very much glockish everything about this is glockish it does offer three finger contact on on the gun which is nice and the one thing that I really like about this is that it is very consistent with all the other Glock models. A trigger pull measuring over five and a half pounds, same Glock trigger with the trigger bar safety in there. So, you know, you go from the, say, Glock 26 to this, there's not a great learning curve. I have one round in there. It does have a sight hole indicator, so I was able to see that. To give it 11 rounds, let's see how it does. And there we go, the 43X, very nice pistol. So we've got the Glock 43X and the Springfield Hellcat. I forgot to mention, the 43X sells for between $450 and $500, and that too has not budged much since its initial offering. So both these are selling for right around the MSRP. So which one would you choose? Well, let me tell you my thoughts. You can see that I both I shot both these fairly well. Um, I do enjoy owning both of them very much. But with Glock, you have to rely on the aftermarket support. And although this gun has a lot of strength going for it, you know, for a carry gun, night sights would need to be added. A lot of people have uh, aftermarket triggers. I have an Apex trigger. I need to install that. But, it, you know, additional mag it requires aftermarket support. As where the Hellcat comes complete with everything, which does have a tritium dot, it does have a 13 round magazine that comes in the case, and many other things that I did not 
mentioned. So if you want something out of the case, in my opinion, the Hellcat is nice, but I also love this Glock 43. What I'm mostly interested in hearing is what you think. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.